KCRG TV 9. Now, from your 24 hour news source, this is KCRG TV 9 News at 10. It's fantastic uh, the, the amount of research and the data that they can pull from pilots. Strap in as we take you thousands of feet off the ground to show you some of the most high tech military research in the world. And it's right here in eastern Iowa. Last weekend, pilots from the University of Iowa teamed up with researchers from Rockwell Collins for a virtual but very real war in the skies. And it's something they do a couple of times a month. Tonight, TV9's Mark Carlson and photojournalist Brian Ray and Matt Nelson give us a rare glimpse into how this work is making Iowa a leader in military research. Hawk Dark Star shows lead group Raw 34520 11,000. Their unfamiliar sounds transmitting across eastern Iowa. Two ships side side. Copy side by side. Dark Star declare lead group hostile. Copy. And they all start with Dr. Tom Mock Schnell. Mission ob objective today is to go to a, a demo flight air to air. The founder of UI's operator performance laboratory. And it takes us many, many hours of preparation to go up uh, for one hour of flight. So, Hawk 1 1 is going to be you. you. You're by yourself in the L 29. Tarzan and myself, we're in uh, Hawk 1 2. Using technology developed by researchers at Rockwell Collins, Schnell and his team have morphed actual planes into flight simulators capable of fighting a real opponent. It's a rush of adrenaline. Uh, it makes you want to just run down that runway screaming out loud. The goal to put pilots into the fog of actual warfare while at the controls of a real aircraft. I want you to take the lead. I'll take the trailer. An idea that could soon lead to a reduction in military training. Potentially saving the U.S. millions of dollars. By combining the live uh, components with the virtual components, we take the best of both worlds and we're able to maintain high quality of training. Dark Star, 15 miles, two ships side side. Inside these Cold War era jets, a monitor that can take a pilot from the cornfields of the Midwest to the mountains of the Middle East. Bandage confirm ready. Virtual bandits are ready. Roger. Fights on, fights on. They learn to deal with the complexities of multiple decision makers involved in a net centric uh, air warfare system. Hawk 1 1, on your nose, 3 miles, 11,000. Hawk 1 1, engage visual. Hawk 1 1, closing. Box 2. During this recon mission, the rear pilot has been given the nod to shoot down enemy fighters coming at him through the virtual skies of Iowa. He uh, targeted them with his radar, uh, which is a simulated radar, and he fired simulated uh, missiles at these targets. The rebels fire back from inside an Iowa City airplane hangar. Throughout the drill, the team collects vital information by monitoring the pilot's brain activity. You test some different things between where you're looking during different phases of flight, what's your brain doing, what's your heart reacting. We can figure out how hard he's working uh, while he's doing this task. Schnell says this research is unlike any other in the world. Auckland 2 is the lead on the right. Well, it's highly sophisticated and, quite frankly, a little hard to explain. At Hawk 1, come left for airspace. It's also just plain awesome. Hawk 1, come left. Going over the Iowa countryside on a sunny day um, uh, and, and do it all in the name of science and research, so it doesn't get much better than that. Hawk 1, knock it off. Hawk 2, knock it off. In Iowa City, Mark Carlson. And uh, Hawk 1, bomb, take the lead on them. KCRG TV 9 News. Okay, that wow. is so cool. <laughs> the Operator Performance Lab at the University of Iowa is completely funded by external sources. And since 1998, Dr. Schnell has brought in more than 150 projects that government and industry sources have paid for. Now, it took 10 cameras to put you on board those jets. And if you want to go for an extended flight, you know, the kids are probably in bed now, but boy, would they love to see this. Just go to KCRG.com. We have a photo gallery and more exclusive flight video. Just click onto the top story right now on KCRG.com. Fantastic. And a fantastic day mm -hmm. in eastern Iowa. Blue skies just like in that video today, Joe. Absolutely. And more to come as we head through the next several days.